Put some pop and love in here too. Rival game in here. <laughs> All right, what's going on, everyone? It's Rifle here, and in this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to farm exotics out of this hive abomination. And not only farm, but you can solo the nightfall and keep farming the chest here too and get some great goodies. I mean, you can get exotics for sure. And also real quick, this wasn't found by me. This was found by a really underrated glitcher. If you guys wanna go check him out, I'll leave a link to him in the description. He goes by Mystic X Outlaw on YouTube. And he's been finding glitches on Destiny for quite some time. He actually found this glitch a long time ago and I had no idea you were able to do this. This is freaking awesome. Anyways, once you're over here, what you want to do is just grab this checkpoint. And once you grab this checkpoint, you're going to want to make your way back. Uh, this is going to be a little bit of the tricky part. You don't have to necessarily uh, jump this gap either. You can just die and respawn over here on this side after you grab the checkpoint. So if you end up failing this jump, don't worry. You'll end up spawning on this side anyways. Unless you're doing this solo, then you're going to want to make sure you make that jump. But the cool thing about this is uh, you are going to be able to keep killing the Hive Abomination over and over and over by taking this route that I'm showing you right now. As you saw, I jumped to that rock, and then I jumped up to that light, and then I jumped up to this ledge. There is an invisible barrier here. It isn't like a full platform, so be careful jumping up to this ledge. I don't know what's shooting me down there. That gone. Those freaking splicers. Anyways, as you can see here... Um, it's a full platform, so you don't have to really worry about invisible barriers, but from here you want to jump over to this section You can jump to this section and then make your way over if you feel like you might fail to jump And this glitch does not take long to do whatsoever if you think like wow Taking this way just makes this strike a whole lot longer It really doesn't and it also makes it a lot freaking easier Especially if you're on a nightfall This is great for players who really haven't got their light level up You're going to be able to boost your light level so much higher by farming exotics here Or hey, I mean maybe you're having a hunt for a specific exotic for a certain class If you are having a hunt for a specific exotic for a certain class Well then I suggest you be in that specific class. You are able to get up here with every single character, not just a hunter, I swear. We're on top of the map right now, and the reason why we went to that checkpoint is because it spawns in the ogre here. But what we're gonna wanna do is take this route, jump down to this platform, and from here, you can farm the boss. There is enemies here, but they don't shoot at you, as you can see. They're just chilling, you can do whatever. They don't know what to do. And it's the same for this guy, too. He doesn't do nothing. He might look like he will, but he doesn't. I don't know why he's not chained up right now. It's kind of strange. Typically, he just stays chained up. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and you know skip this part of us taking him out. Because I'm going to show you guys what you do and how you farm this Hive Abomination after you kill him. It's pretty sweet. And also, I'm going to show you how you can end up completing the mission by doing this glitch cheese. Okay, so he's about to die now. Uh, make sure you use your three of coins before you kill him, because that's going to, you know, of course, higher your chances of getting an exotic. As you can see, I didn't get an exotic that time. But once again, you can. I have video proof right here of the person I'm playing with in the game right now getting an exotic by doing this cheese. Anyways, after you kill him, you just want to jump off the map and then repeat the process. You'll spawn right outside the door, just turn around and repeat that whole glitch process and kill them over again and get the rewards. And do that as many times as you want. But when you're wanting to complete this by doing it this glitch way, um, once again, this can be done solely. So if you're doing this as a nightfall by yourself, this can be done. You want to jump down here, as you guys just saw, and there's a hole in the map here. From here, we're going to want to make our way over to that, but be careful, there's a lot of death barriers very high up, so what I do is I sort at first, and then I jump, and then do the RB right trigger, or if you're playing on PlayStation, you guys get the point. And then, once you're here, this is the first checkpoint underneath the map. I know, this is quite a process in order to actually complete the nightfall, or whatever you're doing it. I'm thinking you're doing the nightfall though if you're trying to just you know do this glitch route but from here you just want to head on over to this rocky platform 
and you will notice that you can just go right through this terrain right here and then you're gonna want to jump out here to this I know this looks crazy and from here oh goodness no no this actually was an old glitch a long time ago I remember seeing and actually I made a video about this a long time ago it was a way when armor piercing rounds was able to shoot through walls you could kill the hive abomination by being outside the map by going you know over there underneath but yeah we're doing a whole different process here like the boss doesn't even fight back it's freaking awesome you could pretty much be away from your controller doing something else while farming for exotics but once you're at this point you want to jump up to this and then head up another level and go over here and you can drop down right here and from this area you can actually crouch underneath the door and unlock it uh, what's going on here what is going on here and once it says joining allies voila that is how you complete it you will spawn into the map and the hive abomination will already be taken care of once again you can do this by yourself so yeah, keep that in mind. Hopefully this ends up helping you out. I'm sure it will. Um, also, I'm positive this will be patched pretty fast because this is an exploit on getting exotics extremely fast. And not to mention the specifics from here too. You can get Ogre Grips and also you can get a Devil's Dawn from this strike. You can also get a Devil's Dawn from a lot of other strikes too. But yeah, you can get it from this one too. But anyways, I'm out of here everybody. Thanks for watching and listening and if you enjoyed this consider leaving a like. It's greatly appreciated and you know make sure to take advantage to this while you can. Especially if you have a buddy that just started out. Introduce them to this glitch. It really isn't that difficult. You can do this pretty daggone fast. It might just take you a bit of practice at first but over time of course this is going to get easier and easier the more you get the process down. Oh and real quick I just wanted to share this because I just recently made a community outside of YouTube and I haven't actually done that yet. I made a Facebook page if you guys want feel free to go check it out it's called the gaming outlet and yeah I'm going to be posting funny videos on there with captions at the top and also funny gaming memes you know the typical stuff that you see on Facebook. But yeah now that's officially wrapping up this video i just wanted to throw that out there to you guys i mean of course you don't have to follow it but the link is in the description until next time though good luck with your goodies peace